Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome all of you back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at Rally, the new hero that got released to the public this Friday. And I do have some very interesting things to say about that hero, so I would recommend sticking around. Now, let's start off with his abilities. His first ability, Compel, pushes himself or an ally into a certain direction. Now this ability is a little bit difficult to use because you first of all have to I click on your hero and then have to drag into the direction you want to push the hero in. But it's still very useful. A nice thing about this ability is that it allows you to push in any direction you wish and it doesn't have a cast time so you can basically I use it to run away, to juke your enemies because you can just quickly change your direction obey, and all of that fun be a stuff. Good it basically works like an enhanced tablet of command because not, not only can you choose march. the direction you wish to push your ally in, but you can also hit the enemy and if you do it deals damage and stuns them. But other than that it's pretty much the same except for the fact he that it cannot be used on enemies. His second ability a is a slow. Commander. Now, I personally don't think this is a very strong ability, simply because the slow Tread doesn't last for a very long time. It's a very powerful slow. As you can see, it slows them pretty much down to 100. But it tapers off wars. and it only lasts for 3 seconds. I really don't think that it's an amazing ability. Now, his third ability is a little bit strange. First of all, it increases your damage, which is only useful in certain situations. And that is very rarely, but we're gonna get into that later. The nice thing about an ability is, is that it reduces the armor of the enemy hero by 20 to 50%. 50% 50 is very, very powerful. Now let me just show you the he ultimate who has first. Never learned to obey this cannot is be a good commander. the ultimate. As you can see, it's a very, very small AoE, but it deals a huge oh, chunk of <laughs> It's an incredible amount of physical damage in a small AOE in front of him. Now, just to show off his third ability, let's let's use the ultimate onto Blitz I right do here. As so, I am uh, that's without the passive. Let's skill the passive. He who has and never learned to obey. Good commander. Yeah, it off almost dealt twice the damage. It's an amazing, amazing ability, but it's one of those you really don't see the impact off because well it's passive but it's still very 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 powerful first i tried the skill build as two suggested maxing compel one point into the slow and getting the passive afterwards it really didn't work out at all maxing compel is the way to go but the other two abilities really don't do anything at level one and need to get leveled past that depending on the situation and on which role you want to play i recommend maxing out one of those spells before getting the other Reddy is a very versatile hero that can fill in pretty much every role there is, except for carry. He's in many aspects very similar to Magmus or Hammerstorm. He can carry, but many other heroes can do that better. The true strength of this hero is his ability to disrupt and initiate. Since Compel allows for 360 degree movement, it is very difficult for the enemy to initiate onto him or his allies. Added to his unpredictability, comes the power of his ultimate, the power to instantly punish any mistakes. If played as a farming hero in a dual lane or as support, I recommend getting the raw. Auto attacks are going to be one of your main sources of damage and the slow will help you get more hits in. If you are solo 1v1 or suicide, I recommend getting the passive early on. In both cases, you are going to rely on burst as your primary source of damage. Additionally, the bonus damage will help your harassment immensely. During ganks, your best course of action is pretty simple. Compel yourself onto the enemy and crush him with your ultimate. The ultimate doesn't have a long cooldown and is very situational. You should use it whenever possible. Your role during team fights depends on which role you are playing and your item build. So let's go into your item build first. An item I heavily recommend getting on this hero is Portal Key. Portal Key works great. You blink in, use your compel for a nice stun. Basically the same as with Magnus. Again, this hero is very similar to that hero. Additionally, I also recommend getting either Ghost Marchers or Striders. If you are farming, get Ghost Marchers. You really need the additional movement speed. That's very helpful. If you are supporting, get the Striders. Again, movement speed is very helpful. 
Another item that's very, very useful and kind of ironic would be the Tablet of Command. I'm not kidding. It's very, very helpful. And it's overall just a great item. And now, coupled with your Compel, you kind of got two. So that's great. You can leap yourself forward a huge distance. If you can't afford a portal key by playing support, get a tablet. Of course, there are the obvious items such as Helm of the Black Legion, the Shaman's Headrest, Demonic, Shieldbreaker. Though I really wouldn't recommend getting any of those. Maybe the Helm of the Black Legion, I can agree with that. But I wouldn't build a full Shaman's Headrest. I would stop at the Mystic Vestments and get more utility items. Utility is really the name of the game with this hero and it's what he is made for and it's what he is good at. Instead of talking about what to do during a team fight, let me show you. We are now going to take a look at a bunch of clips I recorded from the games I played with this hero. In this first clip I just dodged the wave thingies from the moment on. Compel myself in, use the world to slow him down, and we auto-attack him. Till he dies, which is pretty simple. This is a little bit later on in the game, where I noticed the Hag is fighting against the Lord Sulphurus. Now, Hag is taking a lot of damage, and so is Sulphurus, but I just used the compo to finish off Sulphurus before he is able to actually use his lifesteal again to heal himself. Right here, I decide to go into the Puppet Master, gonna use the ultimate. Which, as you can see, it just deals huge amounts of damage. It, it took away about 50% of his HP. Hack blinks in to finish him off. And we, we are now kind of running away, kind of going in. Like the Hack is running away, which is a big deal. Now, Keeper to Force Root comes out. Polywalk wards as well. And he tongue ties me. Now, here we go with the Compel being useful again. Just gonna use it to leap over the cliff into the safety of the forest. And... They really can't chase me down, so I'm just gonna TP out of there. Now right here, Legionnaire is gonna be blinking in onto me. And I'm taking a lot of damage, but... The Compel, yet again, used in the same way a macro stun would have been used. And I quickly use my ultimate to finish off the Engineer. Engineer goes down, no problem whatsoever, no. Deadwood actually blinks in onto the Forsaken. Forsaken is going to drop and funnily enough we also do have a Magmus. Now I'm getting dragged by the Rampage and Legionnaire Taunt is also coming out. I'm pretty low of Vilia here, saves me though. And I use my Compa to stun the Rampage and get away. Which was pretty close, like that was, yeah, dangerous to say the least. Now this is interesting, this shows the power of the portal key. I blink in, use my stun, again like a Magmus would, and just put out the ultimate. The power of the ultimate is that unlike a Magmus ultimate, it doesn't need to be prepared. Like, you usually use the Magmus ultimate before you go in. With ready, you can just jump in and use the ultimate whenever you please. So, that's really nice. This is the first game out of the clips where I'm actually playing ready as a support. And I go for the rune, and it's a region. And I realize, hmm, let's go for the source dealer. And I just quickly go in, we slow him down, use the compel to stun him. And it's an easy, easy kill. And funnily enough, we also managed to steal his bottle, which was kind of game over right there. So, yeah. And this is another clip with the source dealer, but this is just to show the huge range of the compel. Compel is amazing. It got a 600 range at level 1, additional with the 600 cast range, that's an overall range of 1200 if, it u if you use it on an ally. That's just crazy. It can also be used defensively, as seen right here. I just pull the Sulphurus out of the Succubus ultimate. And yeah. Now here I go in and stun free heroes, use my ultimate on the two of them and just take a look at that damage. For a second Archer goes down, so is Glacius also dead and Hack will get away. But we still manage to get a few kills right there. Now this is a bigger team fight. Uh, we start off with the Devourer hook. He starts eating the Ratchet Hag, and Ratchet Hag is going to drop instantly. Dark Lady Ultimate restricts our vision. Pandemonium jumps in. I really can't see a whole lot. I now push my ally 
to the Pandemonium, Pandemonium gets stunned. Sadly, though, Nefora doesn't attack him, so he survives, but use the tablet to get over the ledge. And I think I push the Mage Bane to the Glacius, and Glacius is going to go down. So the Compel, again, it's amazing. The range is crazy, and it's just very, very useful. It's just an amazing ability. I can't stop saying that. Now, of course, this hero does have disadvantages as well. Um, he's just overall a little bit more risky than Magmus because Magmus is a lot harder to kill. But other than that, he's pretty much the same hero. Right here, I use my tablet to uh, tablet the devourer, and I then push the Amun Ra onto the Dark Lady, getting an easy kill. I then stay in the back because I really don't want to risk dying again. It's far, far easier to die with this hero if you play him as a support than dying with a Magnus because Magnus got an invisibility on all of that fun stuff. I wait for the Pandemonium to use his ultimate. I then push the Devourer through the Pandemonium. Pandemonium gets stunned and taken out quite easily. And yeah, so there's one last clip I want to show you and then we are done. Now, I don't know why I'm pausing right here. <laughs> Oh well, so here we go, and actually, yes, I got my portal key in this clip, which is just amazing, I blink in, help the Amon Ra now, Devourer is in a lot of trouble, I sadly enough don't see anything again, thanks to the Dark Lady, but now that I do, I push the Devourer out of her reach, run in, compel, blink myself out of there, because that's really risky, just being in the midst of the fight, Again, I build a tablet of command and the portal key. I really don't have a lot of HP. Right here, I push the mage pain, I think. No, no, this is what I'm talking about with the 360 degree movement. Just, they can't do anything. I, I run in and I tablet myself back. Heck, didn't expect that. And she just gets taken out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and 